Hey, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy VII Remake. And in this one, I want to talk about summons. But before I go any further, I'm going to put down another big spoiler warning. If you guys do not want to see this stuff, you don't want to know about this stuff, you want to discover it for yourself, then now would be the point to step away. If you are still here in the next five seconds, once I finish giving you this warning, then uh, that is on you. Now, in this video, I want to give you guys a chance to not only look at the summons, their, you know, summon animations and some of their kind of finishing moves, but also, more importantly, I want to tell you where you can go about getting them. In-game, there are six primary summons. One of them you get through just natural story progression, four of them are unlocked through VR missions, and one of them is found off the beaten track whilst exploring the world. There are, however, three DLC summons, which you can get for various different pre-order versions. If you guys just pre-order the game, then you have the Chocobo Chick Summon, which looks like this. Thanks so much for everything. Meanwhile, if you pre-ordered any of the deluxe editions, then you'll get the Cactar Summon. And then finally, if you pre-order any of the uh, deluxe or first class editions, you then get the Carbuncle Summon. Whether there are plans to release them in any other capacity at a later date, we don't know. As it currently stands, those are just the DLC ones, but honestly, apart from, you know, for the collectors out there, they're not that great. The ones you really want to turn your attention to are the ones that are in-game. The very first one you will of course encounter is Ifrit, and honestly this is still one of my favourite ones, he's just a really cool summon, but this one you will just get organically, so I don't need to tell you guys how to get it, just play the game, and at a certain point you'll be given it, and this is Ifrit. Next up we have the Chocobo Summon or the Chocobo Moogle Summon. This one you'll encounter in Chapter 6 when you get to the point where you are going to Reactor 5 and you're basically working your way through effectively the underbelly, kind of going through this sort of warehouse area, moving all these different platforms around. You will then get to the point towards the end of it where you go over to the final platform and this is basically where you need to go to go up into the reactor. This is effectively the end of this stage. However, before you go and take this platform, before you leave this area, what you want to do is you want to turn around and you want to go left and there is a movable platform which you can then interact with and it will take you to the other side. Now, as you were going through this area, you guys may have remembered that there was a time where you were crossing this pipe and there was a fan, and one of your team called out and said, hey, what's that over there? That's actually the summer materia, but at the time it's hidden behind a fan which you simply can't get to. This is how you get there. So again, as a reminder, you go from that platform, you take a left, cross over to the other side, and you then climb up this ladder, and you'll then find this terminal that you can interact with. Essentially, what you need to do is disable the fans, and you then need to go up and climb the other side, go behind and grab the materia. In order to do that, when you interact with this terminal, it will temporarily disable them, and it will put a minute on the clock. You then need to go into the next room, defeat all the enemies in there, and once you've defeated them, and you've exited combat stance, you can then go to the terminal on the other side of the room, interact with that, and that completes the shutoff procedure. Now, if you are too slow, and you don't do it correctly, you then simply need to leave the room, re-interact with the terminal, and you can do it again. So don't worry if you mess it up the first time, but go in, defeat the enemies, interact with the second terminal, that will stop the timer, go through the doorway to the left of that terminal, and then turn right, go over to the fan, and you will collect the Chocobo Summon. Get up. Next up, moving on from there, all the remaining summons come from VR missions. You'll get to a point in the game where you meet Chadley. He is basically this sort of Shinra operative, but he's also, you know, a good guy. He's actually out to kind of help us out. And generally speaking, he will develop new materia. But when you get to a certain point in the game, he will then begin giving you VR missions. And VR missions are basically a way for you to fight the summons. And upon defeating them, you will then obtain them. The very first one you encounter when you get to the Sector 5 slums is the Shiva summon. And this is where he tells you about it. And of course, gives you the opportunity to fight it and then get Shiva for yourself. 
I've been dying to see you. After that, a little bit later on the game, once you get to the uh, wall market area, he will then have another summer mission for you. Now, it's worth noting that while you may kind of encounter these at certain points, you know, throughout the story, largely speaking, unlocking these are tied to your battle intel. When you go to the battle intel menu, you'll basically have a number of different missions, and most of these will result in unlocking materia. However, once you've done certain ones and you've kind of met certain thresholds, then you'll begin unlocking more of these summon VR missions. So, the next one, of course, is the Fat Chocobo. This is uh, a lot of fun to do, also a bit of a nightmare in the fight if you don't stay on top of the ads, but either way, this is Fat Chocobo. You willing to step up for us? After that, we then have Leviathan. This one comes from the third VR mission. And then when you get the VR mission, fight Leviathan and he is yours. Then finally for the sixth and final summon, before I go any further, I'm gonna give you guys one more spoiler warning because this is one that nobody has spoken about. This is one that hasn't necessarily been seen yet. So this is your last chance to step away if you don't wanna know what the sixth and final summon is. But assuming you're still here in the next three seconds, then let's go. The final summon is none other than Bahamut. Bahamut is a little bit annoying to get hold of because in order to get him you need to complete every single one of the battle intel and most of them aren't too bad, a couple of them are a little bit finicky, but once you've completed all the battle intel you will then unlock the final VR mission for Bahamut and again same principle, defeat him and he is yours. And this is what that summon looks like. And that, my friends, is pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. That was a look at all the summons in-game. Let me know in the comments down below which one is your favourite. Let me know how you guys are getting on in the game. And of course, be sure to keep it locked for plenty more. Thanks for so watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, you can join the Arax Gaming Discord. We've got an awesome community over there with so many different channels for you to chat loads of different topics and different games. I'm in there, the team's in there. If you guys want to chat with us, find people to play with, it's just in general a great place to be. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our future uploads.